the November update just went live for the Surface Duo. I installed it, I rebooted, and I immediately started taking pictures because one of the things on the change log is improved camera clarity. So, took a bunch of pictures, I tweeted them out side by side with pictures from the Pixel 3. I know that's a weird one to choose, but the Pixel 3 still takes really good pictures and it demolishes the Surface Duo's pictures before the November update. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the pictures I took side by side, Surface Duo, Pixel 3. The first few are in kind of a low light situation. I shut off the lights here in the studio, took some pictures, the next ones are outdoors, and I think the results are going to really surprise you because they've really surprised me. All right, so we're on Twitter here. One thing I gotta tell you is if you're not following me on Twitter, go at scary if literal, hit that follow button because I tweet some good stuff sometimes like this. So here we have the Surface Duo's first picture. This is my, my keyboard, my desk. And keep in mind, this is in fairly low light. In fact, let's do this. Hey Google, turn off the studio lights. This is the lighting that I'm shooting, that I was shooting these photos in. So you can see from here, you can see it's, 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 it's dimmer in here. So let's turn it back on. Okay, so that's, that's the kind of lighting that we're talking about in these photos. So this is the one taken with the Surface Duo. This is pretty low light. Now in typical Surface Duo photos, you are gonna see a ton of graininess in these dark areas. And while it is grainy, man, it is a whole lot less grainy than it used to be. This is not a great photo, but it's a hard picture to take with no night mode or anything like that. This is pretty damn passable. And now let's compare it to the Pixel 3. Pixel 3, brighter, clearer, punchier, more contrasty, better colors. But is it, I mean, look, the Pixel 3 should destroy it in low light. This was not with night mode turned on, mind you. This was just the regular photo. But that's passable for social media. And I'm telling you right now that low light before, that would have looked like muddy, unfocused garbage. So let's go to the next one. This one's, you know, from another angle where it might even be a little bit more difficult because some light is coming through the window there, some light isn't. This is a worse picture for the Surface Duo. Here is some of that graininess that we've been expecting to see, but it's still not even as bad as it was before. This is not great either, but it's closer. You can even see the Pixel 3 struggling here. In fact, the Pixel 3 has way more of that weird over-processed grain going on, over-sharpened grain, than the Surface Duo. Let's go full screen here. I don't know why I didn't do this a second ago. This, I mean, not a great picture for the Pixel 3 either. The Pixel 3 is sharper, for sure. For sure, it's sharper and clearer but they're both struggling. And, and the Surface Duo, that's an improvement. Let's go down now to a corner of the room here. This one actually, I wish I could say was better, but it's really not good. It really struggles to find focus in low light. As you can see here, that is very much what is happening. Kratos' face here is not well in focus. It's struggling. This is a pretty bad shot. Pixel 3 demolished it in this shot for some reason. I even tried to tap on Kratos' face on the Duo, and it just wasn't going to get focused for whatever reason. So two big improvements. One, uh, not so much. But now, let's go to daylight outside, because that is where this thing is going to, I think, maybe blow your mind, because it blew my mind. Big oak tree in the backyard here. Okay, so this picture, it's a little over sharpened. Keep in mind, this is on Twitter, so, you know, we're losing some of the clarity here. But let's look at the dynamic range. We're lit under here. We're lit. Now, this is HDR on. We're lit here. We're not blown out up here. Colors look good. Sky looks good. Nothing too crazy. This is a pretty good shot. Jump over to the Pixel 3. I think I had a smudge on my lens or something because a couple of these shots look like this, and I probably should have retaken it. That's a pretty good shot from the from the duo. That's pretty damn passable. Let's jump down to a close up of some of a, a little, uh, little apple tree in the backyard I'm growing. This is the duo. That's pretty good, guys. It's not blown out. The shadows are not crushed. The highlights up here in the direct sun. That looks pretty good. Let's look at the let's look at the pixel. Okay, yeah, the pixel three looks better. The colors are warmer. The highlights look better. The the shadows look better. But that's not too bad. This really is going to come down to point of preference and color temperature for a lot of this stuff. And again, the smudge, I think, was still there, but whatever. I cleaned it after this next shot. I was in a hurry. I was excited. But hey, look, 
that looks pretty good, right? So now let's go to post smudge cleaned pictures. This is an elephant ear that is dying in the backyard as winter is upon us now. Um, a little bit of loss of detail here, but overall, not a bad looking picture. I wish my neighbor didn't have a broken down box truck in their backyard and, and, and just garbage because that makes my yard look worse. But that's their yard and that's their crap growing through the fence because they're irresponsible old idiots. But I digress. Let's go over to the Pixel 3 photo. And it's a really similar photo. I do think that the Pixel 3 is getting more detail in here, more contrast, and a punchier overall look, a punchier overall look in general. But again, not to sound like a broken record here, that's a better picture with the duo than I've seen so far. And last but not least, uh, part of my fence here. This might be the best looking picture I've ever taken with the duo, just in terms of clarity, color, temperature, so forth and so on. Colors are not blown out, or, or I should say the brightness is not blown out here with the sun reflecting off of these leaves. The color temperature is very accurate, very true to life. Let's look at the Pixel 3. Very similar photo, and I think in this picture, hot damn, did the Google Pixel get beat by the Surface Duo on this picture? I think it did. What an absolute awesome update so far look this thing just pushed out so all i've done is take pictures i've done nothing else but simply from photos low light still is going to be a real struggle for this thing and please do follow on twitter because i will be tweeting more of my overall experience using the camera app for now but in daylight man oh man is that a big improvement or what massive improvement i'd love to know what you guys think you're using this update now it has just hit People are excited. People are getting this update. Let me know down in the comments what your experience has been with this camera update. Stay tuned for more coverage. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks, as always, for your continued support.